Hi everyone, welcome to the first edition of Lumion Tutorial. Today I will actually be showing you how to create custom materials that you have downloaded from somewhere and use it onto the models that you brought in to Lumion. So first thing, let me open up one of the examples that comes with Lumion. So the example that I'll be using will be Villa Vemnen. So once you open that, you will see this scene over here. Let me zoom into the model. Okay. So in order to um, create your own materials and apply it to the model over here, we have to click on the materials button at the bottom left corner. And this will prompt you to click on an imported model to modify its materials. So now you just need to move your cursor to the surface that you want to edit. And then just click on that surface. Since we are creating a new materials, we have to click on new button on the material library window. And then the material type will be standard materials. So once you click on that, it will give you another window on the left hand side and then now you need to bring in three different files the first file will be the color map followed by the normal map and then last but not least will be the displacement map so the color map will actually provide the color and the patterns that you have uh, brought in for your materials and then the normal map will actually simulate the bumpiness of the surface of the materials and then last but not least, the displacement map will show you the displacement effect on the materials to give you a more realistic um, view and impression of it. Okay, so I'll proceed to bring in the three files. First will be the color map, followed by the um, normal map, and last will be the displacement. Okay, so once I'm done with importing the three files, I'll zoom in to the surface. And then um, at the moment, you will find that the surface is a bit uh, glossy and reflective. So I will just tone, tune down the glossiness to about 0.2 and then the reflectivity to 0.2 as well. And then the colorization, I'll remove it all the way to zero. And then um, at this moment, I don't see any patterns on the surface. So I'll use the map scale uh, bar over here to configure the scale factor of the patterns okay so probably this size will be okay for me and then i can also use the x offset option at the bottom to offset the patterns and do it to the stage that i want it to be All right so just now we have imported the normal map um, to actually simulate the bumpiness of the surface so if you zoom into that surface right and then you can either decrease or increase the bumpiness so you can see as i drag the bar right you can see the surface uh, changes as well and then we can also play with the displacement bar to create some displacement effect on the surface okay okay so it looks pretty good now. So I'll just click on the save changes button at the bottom right to save the materials that I've created over here. Okay, so once I've created and saved the materials, okay, I can click the click on the materials again. And then on the window on the left, there's an option for you to save the materials to custom materials so that you can always bring the materials back and use it on another surface on your model. So I'll just click on this option and then they will ask you for the naming that you want for these materials. So I'll just give it a name, Concrete 8. And then I will save it. Now let's say I want to um, apply these newly created materials on this surface that I'm selecting at the moment. So I'll just click on that surface and then on the window on the left, you have to click on custom materials. Okay, once you click on that, you can see all the custom materials that you have created so far will be appearing over here. So I'll just select cast concrete A over here. 
and then you can see the materials has been applied to that surface and then I will just proceed to save the changes okay so this is how you actually create your materials save it and save it under your custom materials library and then you can use it uh, for your models um, any models in fact um, in the future okay so that's the end of the tutorial thanks for watching